a note on the quantum mechanics material you brought up. It's sociologically quite fascinating and relevant to this conversation yeah. that most of these discussions about the foundations of quantum mechanics are happening in philosophy departments rather than physics departments. Really? But on yeah. the so other Sean hand, Carroll no one is... amuses me. Yes, but that people, precisely the people who criticize philosophy as confused, but then they nonetheless get into this type of speculations. Because I know, I know what you are saying. I'm following it closely, but okay, who would you say Carlo Rovelli is? Is he already half philosopher? I would say that like Lee Smolin, he's very much a trained physicist, but he takes the philosophical problems very seriously, which yeah, but, not a lot sorry. of physicists do. True, but I still think that the mess of quantum mechanics today itself pushes people to, they are pushed into approaching things in a philosophical way. I don't right. think it's simply external to quantum mechanics, you know. This was the Copenhagen option, and now everybody is betraying Copenhagen. This pure, like, pure stance, which is, we know what's the formula. Uh, don't think, just calculate, or whatever, you know. I mean... So Sean... Yeah? Sean was just... He was most recently... A, phys a research physicist at Caltech, but he's now in the philosophy department at John really? Hopkins. Really? He also? Yeah, in part, though, because he thinks that this mess we're in, particularly with regard to quantum gravity, yeah. requires untangling the foundations of yeah. physics. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but, but again, uh, uh, I, I'm not against this philosophizing because I think that, as a rule, this philosophizing moves in a correct uh, Socratic way. Not we have all the answers in advance, we just have to discover them. But it's like this authentic perplexion, you know. My God, what's happening? What do we mean by these terms and so on? As I already developed, for example, apropos observation. Or another big debate. Do we have positions here? Where would you, I will give a third degree to, to Lee next week. But for example... Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, these wave superpositions, you know. I'm here, the big, I'm here more towards a speculative but still materialist version in what sense? Rovelli even goes into this, for me, a little bit too modest sense, which is that superpositions and so on, these are more epistemological phenomena. that. When you say, for example, if uh, an electron is to arrive from point A to point B, the highest probability is that he will take this path, but he may take many other paths, 